It's a morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 2nd of July. James Spann, and ooh, we're starting today with big storms over East Alabama. The atmosphere is changing. Uh, let's get in there and take a look at some of the sky cam shots. That's the uh, Chiha sky cam. It's pouring up there on the big mountain. I mean, just coming down, which is a blessing, just what the doctor ordered. Now, it's not going to rain everywhere today, but having rain at 5 o'clock in the morning, that's a good thing. That's going to knock that heat down. Now, over on the western side of the state, can't buy a drop in Tuscaloosa. There's downtown at Greensboro Avenue, University Boulevard, and look at downtown Jasper. Things are quiet there as well. Yeah, look at all the convection. Uh, the ridge is breaking down. The air aloft is colder. And uh, looking at temperatures at 500 millibars can often give you a clue as to where the storms can form. And uh, we noticed the air was colder up there at that level yesterday. And sure enough, those storms really fired up over East Alabama. And uh, for those of you in West Alabama, your chance will come. Every day we'll have these scattered storms around. Uh, there's a look at the action this morning at 5.06. And look at that Interstate 20 rain east of Birmingham. It starts around Moody. And it just gets really heavy all the way down the interstate toward the Georgia border. In fact, uh, early this morning, the Weather Service had to post a uh, severe thunderstorm warning for parts of St. Clair County for the possibility of hail in that storm at that time that was near uh, Asheville and uh, Raglan. But yeah, yesterday was brutal. I think yesterday was the hottest day of the summer. I, I, it doesn't take a lot of guts to say this because it was so hot yesterday, but I think yesterday will turn out to be the hottest day of the summer, and now I think the worst of the heat is behind us. Having said that, yeah, come on, it's always hot in July and August, but uh, I don't think it'll be that hot again. Uh, we had some all-time record highs, Nashville, Columbia, South Carolina, Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, but in Birmingham, we barely broke a record yesterday. In fact, that was the only record broken was yesterday. Uh, the heat on Friday and Saturday did not break the heat records back in the 30s and 50s. All right, convective outlook, uh, slight risk for the Carolinas to the east of here, but we've got those low-end 5% probabilities. The air will be pretty unstable, so uh, like yesterday, the storms that fire uh, could be pretty strong and pack a punch. We could see a wet microburst involved. We had those yesterday. That's uh, localized areas of damaging straight-line winds, especially toward the end of the life cycle as the storms collapse, and a lot of hail because the air loft is relatively, uh, relatively cold for summer. Tomorrow, pretty much the same deal. That The formal risk is to the east, but the storms that form here could be strong. And day three, which is Wednesday, same thing. Those low-end 5% probabilities here. All right, now these maps are just not useful in the summer, but I show you them because it gives you a broad idea of where the rain's going to be. This is the rain through Friday evening at 7 o'clock. Bigger numbers off to the east, but, you know, one big storm can drop, you know, an inch of rain in 30 minutes in the summer. Uh, but we'll have the chance of scattered storms every day for at least the next seven days as the core of the heat bubble begins to redevelop back to the northwest of here. We should note the tropics are quiet. While we focused on the heat, things out there are quiet as a mouse and don't expect much to happen this week. You know, we had that early season burst and things have been quiet. We had Debbie, but uh, again, most of us think the season won't be that active We'll see. All right, this is the GFS, the OZ run at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Still got the ridge here, no doubt about it. And understand, yes, it'll be hot, but the door is open for these scattered storms. And I think that's going to keep most everybody in the 90s today. Although West Alabama could touch 100. Tomorrow, the, the heat begins to kind of rebuild to the north and west. You can see that ridge beginning to expand in that direction. Same thing on Wednesday, and we'll go down below that. And every day, these green blobs are not helpful. Uh, we'll have scattered convection and telling you Wednesday exactly when and where it's going to rain. You can't do that today, and you can't even do that early Wednesday morning. Just be aware, scattered storms will be there. Same thing Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as we start the weekend. Again, it seems like the higher heights are centered up there around Kansas City now. And down below that, same deal, uh, partly sunny. Highs in the 90s, scattered showers and storms. Same thing Sunday and a week from today. Again, you can see how that ridge is nosing up into Montana and Idaho and uh, got kind of a broad trough over in the northeast. And again, uh, we're soupy, and that would suggest scattered showers and storms. So uh, rain chances are going up, not the big widespread rains, but with this scattered stuff, if you take the cumulative rain over seven days, I think everybody gets wet at least once or twice, maybe more. Here's the end of the forecast on July 17th. Hey, a little troughing action, and that's right. That would be kind of showery. 
you can, you can see why. I just get the idea the worst of the summer heat is behind us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be hot this month and next month, but I don't think it gets, it gets that hot again. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on TV, ABC 3340 News, either on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, and God bless.